CSEC Mathematics Pass Paper, May 2022. We continue looking at question 4. We're not at 4B. Right? Well, we did the working for question 4A before. Uh, all right, before, I, before I erase it, let's just re recap it. You want G of 1 third, you put 1 third. You remove X and put 1 third there and work it out and got 0. F inverse of negative 3. We could find F inverse of X first, then put negative 3 into it. And we get negative 2. Or we could put the negative 3 right here where you see F of X. Change f of x to negative 3. Right? And then solve for x. And when you solve for x, we get the same negative 2. So that's what happened there. But I want to move on to uh, part b. So let us erase the board. Uh, part b. We're moving on to. We've got quite a few things here to erase. Let's rub them all out. Alright. Let's go back to this. Part B. The line L is shown on the grid below. Alright, we have the line L. Write the equation of the line in the form y equal mx plus c. Interesting. We're going to see what happens here. Let's copy. By the way, how many marks they give? Uh, two marks for that. But let's paste it over here. Paste. Paste it up here now. I see it here. Um, what else do they want? We write the equation. And then the equation of this line. Let's copy and paste it too. Let's just move things over here let's just put it way down here all right and also all right we're going to move on to that later but let's look at one thing at a time now one thing at a time here the line L is shown on the grid below so we have the line. Good. Now, what do they say you must do? Write the equation of the line in the form y equal mx plus c. Pause the video and do it for me. Alright, you did that. What did you get for the equation? Let's see what's going on. y equals mx plus c. Remember, that M is the, the gradient. Alright. The rise over run. Remember that. And C is the point where the line cuts the y-axis. So, we want the gradient. First of all. Now, here. M is the gradient. To get the gradient, we look at forming a right angle triangle between two points. All right, this line lean down. Let me try it again. All right. Now, the gradient is in the form. The height of this is our rise. And the width of this is our run. So remember, the gradient M equal to rise divided by run. What's the rise? The rise here is 1. 1 over, what's the run? 1, 2, 3. Is it a positive or a negative? It's positive. Remember, if you walk on the line this is you walking on the line you're going from left to right but you're going upwards it's a positive gradient right remember you could also use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or x2 
or x y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 whichever one you want to get the gradient but anyway gradient is one third what's the y-intercept it's right here it's one so the equation is y equal the gradient one third times x plus the y-intercept one so that is our answer there y equals one third x plus one see that Now, the next part of the question, oh, this is from before, erase all of these things from the previous working. All right, the next part of the question, it says, the equation of a different line, y equal negative 2x plus 8, that is the equation. Write down the coordinates of the point where Q crosses the x-axis. Alright. Now, let me just erase these things. Whatever line it is, whether the line is this, or this, or this, or whatever, or it could be this, or this, whatever it is, Wherever it crosses the x-axis, must be right along the x-axis. Now, this is the x-axis. If you go up here, y equal 1. If you go down there, y equal negative 1. But what happens on the x-axis? On the x-axis, y equals 0. Right? So one thing you could use to determine it is to equate y to 0 y is equal to negative 2x plus 8 if you make y 0 0 is equal to negative 2x plus 8 now suppose you add negative 2x to both sides you have 0 equals negative 2x plus 8 you see, plus negative 2x. Right. Oh, you add 2x to both sides. You don't add negative 2x to both sides. My, my. You add 2x to both sides. So you say plus 2x over here and plus 2x over here. What you end up with is 2x equals 8. See that? And then, the next thing you do is divide by 2 so when you divide 2x equal 8 by 2 you put this over your 2 and this over your 2 2 cancels 2 so what you get is x equal 8 over 2 is 4 so it would here it would cut the x-axis at x equals 4 right so, at x equals 4, write down the coordinates of the point where q crosses the x-axis. You want the coordinates. x is 4. y is 0. Well, you could look at it another way. y equals negative 2x plus 8. Let's move it up here. Now, if you consider that line and you want to plot the line, you need two points to plot that line. Let's plot it when x is equal to 2. What happens when x is equal to 2? When x is equal to y equals negative 2 by 2 plus 8, which is negative 4 plus 8, which is 4. When x is 2, y is 4. One coordinate on the line is 2, 4. Where is 2, 4? 2, 4 is this point. And if you want another point on the line, 
Remember, we already found it, you know, but we're looking at it from another angle. We want to plot the line. We want to draw this line. When x is equal to 4, what is y? y is equal to negative 2 by 4 plus 8, which is negative 8 plus 8 plus 0. So another point on the line is 4, 0. Where is 4, 0? 4, 0 is right here. And you can see it. You can see that that's the line. Right? And we actually have our point here when x is 4, y is 0. A while ago, earlier, we said that x is 4 where it crosses the x-axis and we saw it again. When we draw the line, we saw it again. If we had used a different point and say, what happens when x is 1? If we were to plot the line and we plotted for x equals 1, what would have happened? You would say y is equal to negative 2 times 1 plus 8, which is y equals negative 2 plus 8, which is 6. So, we would have 1, 6 as a point on the line. 1, 6 is right here. So, when you draw this line, you would see again that it passes through 4. So, anyway, we see that we tried two ways to find out the coordinates of the point where Q crosses the x-axis. One way, if we remember that the x-axis is where y equals 0, we just say y is 0 and then calculate x and we see that x is 4. So, x is 4, y is 0. The other way is to plot the line and draw it and see where it crosses the x-axis. We use two points. x equal 2. When we calculate y, we get 4. So it's 2, 4. When x is 1 and we calculate y, we get 6. When you draw that line, you see again it goes through 4. So it crosses the x-axis at x equals 4. Alright, so there we have that. Now let's say, mm, alright, what else let's say here? C, on the grid on page 14, that's this, page 14. On the grid on page 14, draw the graph of the line Q. Well, we did it that already. Draw the graph of the line Q. Alright? Then, what else they say? Complete the statement below. According to the graph, the solution of the system of equations consisting of L and Q is all right, remember, when you, draw, when you have two lines that cross on a graph, you could use an equation for each line. The first line was y equal 1 third x plus 1. So, the system of equation they're talking about is y equal 1 third x plus 1. And the other one is y equal negative 2x plus 8. The other one is y equal negative 2x plus 8. This is for the original line, right? This one is for the original line and this one is for the new line we drew. Now remember, what they ask is the solution of the system of equations. The solution is the point where the lines intersect each other right here 
that intersection. Now, you tell me what is the solution for that system of equation. Alright. Let's see. This intersection is at x equals 3, y equals 2. So that's the solution. And that's done. Was that what you got? Alright. So that is that. So I will see you in the next video when we move on to question 5.